The second season of RuPaul's Drag Race UK vs The World has definitely gagged us a bit for sure and that's why we're definitely still talking about it. And you know what? I absolutely love it. Now, in today's video, we will be talking about the evolution of the Queen's entrance looks from their previous season to now. Now, the big question for each Queen will be, did they have a glow up, a mid glow or a total glow down? find out in today's video so without further ado let's get right into the video first up we have our resident royal queen miss gothic kendall from the united kingdom and we're about to get into our entrance look evolution now for her first time around on drag race uk season one she had on this blue purple organza two-piece with a pair of mesh gloves and black pumps and for her second time around on uk vs the world season 2 she has on this tiger print corset top and a black skirt now let's go on ahead and put this look up against each other now i must say that for her first time around on season 1 in this blue look it's really not a bad look for the first time around i mean i see the vision of this look and for her recent look on uk vs the world it's also a cute look it's not doing too much but it's still delivering on the fashion element now it's time to determine whether or not there was a glow up a mid glow or a glow down and for kendall i'm gonna go with a glow up because you can clearly see how polished her uk versus the world look is it's much cleaner in terms of aesthetics and even the makeup and hair so yeah this is definitely a glow up for me second up on our list will be the amazing scarlet envy from the united states and this one is a bit complicated because she's been on drag race competing for the crown for a total of three times now now for her first appearance which was on the 11th season of drag race she had on this corset with the renaissance painting and gold panties for the second time around which was on all star 6 she had on this pink and yellow tie-dye long dress with a very exaggerated hat now for her present appearance on this season of uk vs the world she has on this red short dress with ostrich feathers now let's get into this look and put up against each other to determine if there was a glow up mid glow or glow down now i think that from season 11 to all star 6 there was definitely a glow up i mean it was giving very basic energy to a more grandeur one however from all star 6 to uk vs the world season 2 the verdict is in and this was definitely a glow down because i mean looking at how stunning that all star 6 outfit was this was definitely a step down from that so yeah it's definitely a glow down for me the next evolution we'll be looking at is that of la grande dame from france and the first time on drag race france she had on this really intricate beaded look that sort of reminded me of her present promo look and in addition to that she had on this face piece that was just super gaggy to me now for her recent look on uk vs the world she had on this multi-colored graffiti short dress however it will interest you to know that this entrance look by la grande dame was previously worn by her on her previous season for a runway category now having learned this it is a bit dicey to me because i mean i honestly really like the graffiti look but looking at it up against this really beaded intricate dress moment the verdict is in and i must say that it was definitely a glow down from her first entrance look i i mean aside the fact that she has worn this dress before just looking at them side by side the beaded look just really takes the crown so yeah it's definitely a glow down for me the next evolution we'll be looking at is that of tear coffee from the united kingdom and for our first time around on drag race uk season 2 she had on this leopard print short dress with a thigh high boot and for the uk vs the world season 2 she entered the workroom in this leopard print jumpsuit honestly i really don't like when a queen references something they've done in the past without totally knocking it out of the park now putting these two looks side by side there's really not much to judge because the only glow up i see here is maybe the hair and the makeup because they look a lot fine-tuned however from the actual outfits in themselves the verdict is in and this is definitely a mid glow for me because it doesn't really have that pop for me so yeah up next on our entrance look evolution we have the beautiful anaconda from down under and for the first time around on the second season of down under 
she has on this green and blue short corset dress with an attachable train and on this time around in uk versus the world she has on this lime green dress with gold detailing and to be honest the first entrance look was just fine there was nothing really super exciting about the dress so it was kind of hard not to do a look that would kind of improve upon that now you have to admit that both styles of dresses are really similar so i'm really not gagging about the fashion trajectory that she has given us this time so yeah the verdict is in and this is a mid glow at best for me mainly because the both style of the dresses are kind of the same if you know what i mean so yeah the next diva on our entrance look evolution she is the filipina winner it's marina summers from the philippines and for her first appearance on the first season of drag race philippines she had on this yellow swimsuit with a green puffy sleeve jacket and for her uk versus the world entrance look she has on this bronze metallic gown with a hoodie and a prop sword and honey this evolution is definitely an interesting one to talk about now first of all i was really in love with her first entrance look i really thought it was sexy and fashionable i also really loved the second entrance look it looked so good and so polished it was giving very fashion and very glamour now looking at it side by side the fashion is correct the mug is stamped and the attitude is so on so i definitely have come to the verdict that this was definitely a glow up for sure the next evolution we're looking at will be that of jumbo's blonde from the united kingdom and for her first time on drag race uk season 3 she had on this black power suit dress and a pair of mesh stockings and black pumps and for her second time around uk versus the world she has on this black corset and pants with pastel green detailing and a hat now i really love this look from her first season it was giving very fashion queen of the season till we saw the entire package that she had on the show which was not very great however i still loved it now for the second look you can definitely tell that she was trying to reference one of our past look and i feel like that kind of limited the creativity of this look don't get me wrong it is not a bad look but the verdict is in and this was a mid glow at best up next we have the hannah montana of spain miss Aranta Cristina la mancha from spain and for her first entrance look she had on this baby pink two-piece with a zebra in her top and for her entrance look for uk versus the world she has on this yellow striped cat suit with a two train addition and this is such an easy one because honestly i did not love the two-piece baby pink she had on for her first entrance and i really thought that was really basic the hair was a mess the makeup was wonky and it was just really meh for me however this look for the entrance look for uk versus the world is something that i can actually get behind it is grunge it is fashion and it is definitely an upgrade so the verdict is in and this was definitely a glow up for me up next on the evolution of the entrance look we have the super talented kita minaj from holland and for our first entrance look she had on this purple and mint green latex combo and for our entrance look for uk versus the world she has on this giraffe print structured dress that honestly reminded me of the mugler insects collection and honestly how can you not say mother i mean i really got into this cool gothy evil queen look that she had on for her entrance on the second season of drag race holland i thought it was giving me very edgy fashion and it was just giving me everything and for her second entrance look for uk versus the world that one literally blew me away and took my breath away the structure the fabric and just everything was right so yeah the verdict is in and this was definitely a glow up for me up next we have the hilarious theresa may from the united kingdom and for her first entrance look from series three she had on this red and yellow matador inspired outfit while for her entrance look for uk versus the world she had on this blue corseted dress with a two cape addition now putting these two looks side by side i actually really do love the look from her first entrance from series three it was very conceptual it had a design and it was very good fashion now moving forward to her second entrance on uk versus the world this is a good look it is colorful it is grandeur however is it enough to tag a glow up well the verdict is in 
and this is definitely a mid glow for me mainly because i feel like the design in our previous entrance look was very solid that it definitely had to be some sort of like harder fashion for it to be tagged a glow up so yeah it's kind of a mid glow for me last up on our list she is the absolute life of the party we have the beautiful mayhem miller from the united states and just like her sister scarlet envy she has had the opportunity to compete twice before this season so let's get into the looks now for her first entrance look which was on season 10 she had on this velvet red wine long gown and for her second time around in all stars 5 she had on this red bodysuit Finally, for her debut on UK vs World, she had on this sequin red wine jumpsuit with a cape and headpiece that was very much giving Heavenly Bodies at Met Gala. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I really kind of liked the first look for her first entrance and that was really giving me very rich woman fantasy. However, I'm just not in love with this look that she served for All Stars 5 because it just felt very off the rack for me. Now. This entrance look for UK vs World was definitely one look that looked very lush and beautiful. So yeah, the verdict is in and Mayhem Miller definitely had a glow up from her previous entrance look to now. Alright guys, we have come to the ending of today's video. In today's video, we talked about the evolution of the entrance looks of the Queen of RuPaul's Drag Race UK vs The World Season 2. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. It helps me a lot. And I'd like to hear what you guys think about the whole evolution. What queen do you think had the best glow up? What queen do you think had the worst glow up? Let me know in the comment section. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye guys. Au revoir.